Hey guys, Danica here, Vegan Picker. I want to do what I hope is going to be a really quick introduction to FBA Toolkit. Um, what we're going to do first is down here where you can uh, enter an ASIN. That's when you have a specific item that you're wanting to get information for. And what I did was I took the info for the Keurig K130 B130 brewing system. Now when you put in an ASIN and you hit go, this is what it's going to bring up. It's going to take you to the tracking details page. And what you can get from that is the sellers of that item. So you can see who your competition is. You can see when they've had the buy box, which is what these green boxes are. You can see what their sale price is for the item you can see their stock and you can see how many sales they've had. Now it tracks this in this page, it gives you about a month, uh, a month's worth of, of information. Now if you scroll down here to the bottom, you'll see the sales for one day, you know, the past day were roughly 108 for the past 30 days has been about 3,200. Now, the information on here can be inflated sometimes. Uh, I don't know so much about on this page, but when you check in the um, the estimated sales over here, now sometimes it can be inflated, but that is just another, you know, one of those reasons to do not get all of your information from one tool. Track your products on several tools. Check the pricing on several tools. Um, this is one of the greatest things ab about FBA Toolkit, I think, is having all of the information in one place, you know, laid out really nicely and neatly, your competition, um, what their price was in the buy box, you know, that kind of thing. Now, if they're not tracking your item, and sometimes that will happen when you put in the ASIN, it, it won't be tracking the item. And they don't track, they also guys don't have every category up here, so be aware of that. Now, you can still get, you know, some of the information if you take the rank of your item. I just chose a random board game, so in Toys and Games, I put the rank of my item, which is 781 and I hit go. Well, that gives me this information here. I already hit go because sometimes on Safari it's it's slow. So an item with a rank of 781 roughly sold 21 over, that's the average over the last 30 days, 21 per day. The last day it sold roughly 23. Now, if you click the view details, that takes you to this, which gives you the details in toys and games in whatever category you click view details. And it gives you, you know, this lovely little graph. And then down here is a gold mine of info. You have the rank of the item, the sales it made in the last day, the 30 day average sales per day, the ASIN so that you can, if you click here, it will take you straight to the Amazon page for that item. You know, what the item is, and then you can true the, you can view the tracking details for that specific item, which is going to be this page. So over here, we can see, okay, here's some of the information that we can get from this. We can see what current trends are in that category. We can get information and, and ideas rather for, you know, some items that we may not have even thought of looking for in the stores to, you know, see if we can make a product on to start scanning. Um, there's, there's just a wealth of information here. Um, we all know frozen is a current trend and, you know, that's evident from, you know, from this info. Um, you know, you've got Disney, Disney, or Frozen, 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 you know. But let's go to, we'll look at this first one. It's the Elsa doll. 
And like I said, this is going to bring up that first sheet that I showed you, you know, the details sheet. Now, this frozen you have to be approved for. So there's a whole, notice there's a whole lot less numbers here. Um, but the prices vary wildly from Amazon's price and all the FBA sellers. Um, I find that pretty funny. Uh, just that, you know, this is one of those things where, you know, if Amazon runs out regularly, then, you know, you can see that it's selling for that other person. Like right here, Amazon had none. So, you know, these people got the buy box. Um, but, you know, like I said, there, there's just, there's a lot of information here. But look at how many, you know, how many sellers it's bringing up you know, for this. Yeah, they don't all have a lot. Well, some of them do. 81 stock, good Lord. Um, and then these guys have kind of fallen off. They had some earlier and, and now their their stock is completely out. But, you know, you can see down here again, sales one day, 87, over the past 30 days, 2,600. Um, this is a really, really great way for you guys, you know, that are newer or have trouble knowing what to scan when you're in the store. Um, or if you're having trouble, you know, with finding new items, let's say. This can also help you by being a jumping off point looking for replens in certain categories. Um, now you're probably not going to get a replen from this list. Like you're probably not going to find something on one of these lists that could be a replen for you. But it can, you know, ignite that spark and, and kind of, you know, get the wheels turning a little bit for you to discover a new item to turn, you know, to be a replen for you. Um, typically, if it's going to, you know, if it's on one of the, you know, if it's on a list where it is, you know, the top 100 sellers or whatever of a product, well, you already have at least that much competition. Okay, and if their numbers are really high and their stock is really high, that's probably not a good item for you to get into. Now, a one-off or a two-off, absolutely, if, you're, if your numbers are good, you know, for the item. If your ROI is going to be high enough, then yes, you know, most certainly. But if you guys use this, like I said, as a jumping-off point, it can really get, get you thinking in new directions. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Let this kind of expand your horizons and get the juices flowing for you to find new items to sell. Um, this is this is a really good visual right here for those that still don't understand the sales rank. You've got sales per day here. So if you're making you know, um, like say right here. Okay. So, you know, this is a little less than a thousand sales per day. The sales rank is 10. So as the bar goes out, you know, to less, sorry, as the bar goes down, meaning less sales per day, you see that the sales rank gets, the number gets bigger. Um, I know some people have a really hard time with that. You know, it didn't make sense to me at first, you know, in the beginning. Um, some other things that FBA Toolkit does. Um, get back to the homepage so you can see it. Now, you can track products here just like you can with Keepa um, and, you know, some others. But 
this one gives you a little more information in when you track it. And you can also, the price list analysis uh, is where you upload a spreadsheet with a list of your UPCs and it has an optional cost field where if you fill that in, it'll generate a report with you that will, they say, simplify your purchasing decisions. And it says, you know, current offers, estimated sales, the profit that you will make on that, et cetera, et cetera. Now, to use this, you do have to register and um, the product tracking and things. You get 100 free per day. And they say that if you want more than that, to email them. And I'm assuming that there will be a cost associated with that. So just beware. Um, another kind of beware. This is in beta. Um, thanks to Jeff Davidson for, for uh, letting us know that it's been like over a year that it's been in beta. Um, and again, guys, None of these tools are infallible. Do not rely on just one tool. Don't rely on just Profit Bandit, just FBA Toolkit, just Camel, 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 just Keepa. Use them all, you know, Amazon Seller Tool, whatever. Use them all and kind of come up with your own big picture, you know, get your own average of the pricing that they're showing, the sales rank, the, the, or the sales per day kind of thing that they're showing, or per month, whatever. Um, kind of merge all that information together, because they have all been wrong at one time or another. And you're never, you know, you're not going to know if, that's the one time, you know, and especially if you're talking about making a big purchase. If you're talking about making a big purchase, please, please, please utilize multiple tools and just do your due diligence. Really, really do your due diligence. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this now because I don't want it to get long. I don't want it to turn into a, you know, I don't want to go off on a tangent and start rambling like I do. Um, I will do a separate video showing you, you know, some of the other th things. Uh, I, I want to play around more with the price list analysis, but um, just keep an eye out for that. I'll let you know in the, the resellers wake up when it's, when I'm ready for it to, to go live. Um, don't forget to check that out, by the way. It's Monday through Fridays, uh, starts at 9, 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern, um, runs for two hours. A lot of good information. There's a really great group of people in the chat. Um, there's a lot of learning going on, both, you know, on our side, the people on the panel and the people in the chat, you know, we're learning from people in chat. People in chat are learning from us. We're learning from each other. And it's just a working hangout where, you know, we try to help each other. That's kind of what this community is all about. And that's what, like, these videos are all about. So if I did, if you still have questions, if there's something that you still don't understand about FBA Toolkit, put it down in the comments. If it's something that I can simply answer you know, by commenting back, then I will. If it's something that I feel warrants another video about this, then that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, let me know, you know, did this help? Did I go too fast? You know, did I completely miss your question? You know, what, what it was about this that you didn't answer? Um, let me know. I'll help you out. You know, you guys know I have no problem redoing things or, you know, getting in a chat with you or, or a private hangout, whatever. Um, we'll get you there, you know, and, and I'm going to learn something in the process too. I always do when I do the private chats with people, um, or, you know, the private hangouts and things, I always end up learning something myself. So, uh, don't think, you know, don't feel like you are, putting me out or whatever, because I get, I end up getting something out of it too. Um, and you know, I thank you for that. 
you know, the ones of you that I, we've done that, you know, I thank you for asking me the questions and, and things, you know, and, and allowing me to learn something else as well. So, uh, I will, I mean, like I said, I'm going to stop this because imagine that I'm rambling, uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.